Sims 4, we're gonna be creating Sims as different Monster High dolls. I'm going to come into Create a Sim and try and recreate the Monster High dolls to the best of my ability using what we have in game and also a lot of custom content. If you're unfamiliar with the Monster High dolls, they're known for their ghoulish, edgier fashion styles than others in the doll world, and they're all monster or occult themed in some way. This is a follow-up video to a recent one where I created tiny homes for different Monster High dolls, so I'll link that down below. You don't have to watch that one before watching this one, but we'll be creating some of them from that video and I'll be making some new ones here today as well. So we're gonna start off with Draculaura. She's one of my favorites. I love her style. She's the daughter of a vampire, but she's a vegan vampire. She doesn't eat meat. She's known to be a little bit emotional and sensitive, but she's really friendly, cheerful, and outgoing. So first of all, obviously I need to make her a vampire in game and all of them are going to be teens. So first thing I'm gonna do is remove the hair. We're gonna remove all of the skin details we've got going on there. And I did download a ton of these colorful skin tones because a lot of them have like pink, green, blue. So I'm gonna pick for Draculaura like a very, very pale pink. Honestly, like that could work. She has pink eyes, so I'm gonna change them to those. And in typical doll fashion, her eyes are going to be massive. I have a few presets for this, which I think are gonna come in handy. And I'm gonna make them as big as I can possibly get them to be. I'm gonna pull them out a little bit. I'm also going to make the pupils very big and doll-like. We'll bring down the inner corners a little and I gotta change the brows. Maybe I'll do something like this for now. I'm gonna pull the eyes apart a little bit. And for the nose, I was thinking about maybe using this preset here, but their noses tend to be very, very small. I'm gonna point out her chin a little bit more. We're gonna change the lips. And next I'm going to be adding my favorite new skin detail, which is from Twisted Cat. I'm gonna give her some lashes and I did download some new ones recently, but I feel like these ones here could work for her. There's also these eyes here also from Twisted Cat. I don't know which ones I like better though. Maybe we'll go with these ones for now. Draculaura has one little heart on her cheek and I don't have the singular heart in my CC collection, but I do have the double like e-girl hearts, which I think are just gonna have to do, but I did download this skin detail from Praline Sims. A lot of the dolls have these like monster teeth. These ones are obviously meant to be fangs for her, so I'm gonna add that. And for her makeup, she wears a lot of pink, so we're gonna do like pink eyeshadow. Maybe I'll add a little bit of blush on her cheeks. And then for the lips, it's gonna be hard because I have to find one that goes underneath that skin detail. And I also wanna do a pink. That could be very cute. And now for the hair, we're going to be using alpha hair. I downloaded a whole bunch of them for this video. Normally, I tend to go for a Maxis match, but I was really having fun going shopping for these. So her hairstyle normally has like front bangs. And because she's a vampire, her little ears are sticking out of this hairstyle, which I think her ears are a little pointy. I have to leave it. That is so cute. And the thing about Draculaura is she has these iconic pink highlights. But the thing is, the hairstyle that I'm going with doesn't have that option. So I'm gonna have to try and make it myself. This actually does look pretty cool with the pink and purple, but not quite the look I'm going for. I do have these. They add the highlights there. I feel like we're gonna get maybe a little glitching near the bottom, but I think it just might be worth it here. I cannot make Draculaura without her pink highlights. I have this bat necklace, which is perfect for her. And I recently downloaded these paperclip earrings. Her hair is kind of covering them, but how cute are they with the heart there as well? I guess you can kind of see them in there. So I'm gonna give them to her. And now for her outfit. So for a lot of these and in my last video, I'm focusing a lot on the generation one dolls. So I found these boots, which are almost exactly like the ones that she wears. I want to give her a white skirt. We're gonna obviously have quite a few options. It's just gonna depend on probably the top. Ooh, this one would be cute. Let me see. Okay, I have these, which kind of have the bow at the front. I don't quite have them in her like Draculaura pink, although I do like that top part there. I've got some of these that could work. Maybe if I change the skirt to one of these ones. What about this outfit? I feel like it looks good with the skirt. I'm going to give her fishnet stockings. And for her socks, I have these ones here, which have the little heart like buckle there. I think I'm gonna give her those. I was also thinking about giving her these vampire bracelets. We could do one on each arm. And then I think I have a fishnet bodysuit I could put underneath. 
Those highlights cutting off there is starting to bug me. I, I wish there was something I could do about it. I miss The Sims 3 days where you could fully customize everything like that. There are a few options for traits we could do. We could do cheerful, creative, outgoing. For teens, I only have two options. So I'm gonna go vegetarian. We don't have the vegan trait, but there we go. And I think I'll do cheerful. And for her aspiration, I feel like I remember her loving writing. So I'm gonna give her that. I don't think she has a last name, so I'm just gonna go hi. She looks so good. I'm gonna adjust her body type here a little bit. I obviously need to give her real vampire fangs. And here is our Draculaura. We're gonna move on next to Gulia Yelps. Gulia was not in the tiny home video that I did, but a lot of you guys were requesting her in that video. So Gulia is a zombie. She's super smart. She's meant to be one of the smartest out of all of the dolls. She's a little bit shy, but super friendly. She loves comic books, reading and writing. She also loves drawing and she loves to learn learn. All of these dolls have such unique looks to them and I love making these kinds of sims in The Sims 4. I'm kind of surprised we didn't do this earlier to be honest. I think what might really set her apart is going to be her eyebrows. They're quite thin and they kind of have a very unique shape going on. Like they kind of arch up but then they also like come down a little bit and they're more maybe tilted even more down like that. I think I'm gonna bring down her chin a little bit more and I might also bring out her jawline. <laughs> Some of these dolls are gonna end up looking crazy but that is kind of the point. Oh, these eyes are perfect for her. I've given her some lashes. I don't think she has the lip detail. Some of them have those teeth on them. Some of them don't. But she is always rocking this red lip. Maybe we can go with that one. And I think I want to give her a dark smoky eye look. Oh, this vampire one looks really cool, but I don't think it's going to work for her. I'm going to go with that there for now. I need to find her some blue hair and it's blue with white streaks. It is so weird using alpha hair again. I kind of miss it. Also, I'm cute curious like what do you guys prefer in the comments are you more of a maxis match or do you like alpha hairs what's the consensus here i know this is always like a battle in the sims community for some reason i feel like they both look good it really just comes down to preference i'm liking this hair on her i like how it has the white at the end it's a little darker than i would like but i am putting her green headband in her hair and i like that you can kind of see it oh my gosh look at this hair though this is i kid you not i used to have my hair like this like swept all the way over to the side if I go with this though, we can't see the headband. Maybe I'll go with this one. I feel like the color is there a little bit more. I also want to give her the glasses and sometimes she wears them on her head. Sometimes she wears them like on her face. I think I'm going to put them on her head because sometimes when you put them over top of the lashes, it messes with it a bit. And I'm going to give her some chunky pink earrings. I also downloaded this necklace that I've been dying to use. So I'm going to give her that. And for her outfit, I need to find red pants, preferably like a capri cut. I mean, okay. I have these or like a patterned one like that. I also downloaded these really high top converse, which are glitching with my pants. No. Okay. What if we tried these boots? They tuck under. She has a striped shirt underneath a tank top, which I have a few bodysuits that can go underneath. I just don't know if I'm going to have any stripes. We could do polka dots. And I think there's a cherry pattern on her tank top, which I know I have, but I cannot find it for the life of me. This is like, you know, when you see an object every day and you think, nothing of it until you need that object. That's what's happening right now. Oh, I could give her this though. It kind of has the same vibe and we could match it up to her headband. I think I'm going to also give her the vampire's bracelets on both sides. No, why is this not working on both arms? There must be a glitch happening with her lashes or like something. Ah, oh, that sucks. I really wanted them to work on both. All right, what are we going to do for your traits here? Definitely bookworm. And I was thinking also genius. And I think for her aspiration, I want to give her the Renaissance sim. I am loving the out there styles of these sims today. This is totally gonna end up being one of my favorite cast videos. Okay, let's move on. And next I wanna make Claudine Wolf. So Claudine is a werewolf. That werewolf form is crazy. We're not gonna make her in her werewolf form though. And Claudine is another one of my favorites. I feel like I have a lot of custom content that's going to match her style already in game. So Claudine is a fashion girly. She is confident and fierce, which can make her a little intimidating. She's also going to get the fang lip detail. And I think she wants to run a fashion business. She's got a huge family. And because of getting all of the hand-me-downs, she developed some really good DIY skills, which I'm pretty sure is a big factor in her love for fashion. Oh, for her eyes, I think these ones are going to look really good on her. These are from Miko Sim CC. And you guys may have noticed from my last cast video, I'm going to try and include the CC creators of where I got some of my CC for you. You guys are always asking where I get my stuff 
so hopefully that'll help. The face card here will never decline. Claudine's hair is super iconic, so I need to find something that's gonna do it justice. I do like this one on her, but I think I have a longer one. Oh, this one's super pretty too. I was picturing this with like a nice brown. I'm gonna try that. And I also downloaded, okay, I had to go to the depths of Sims 4 Tumblr <laughs> to find these. <laughs> I was in the trenches, I barely made it. But I had to give her the ears and they have piercings on them, it's so cute. It was worth it. Before I give her an outfit, I need to find her some makeup. I wanna give her some purple eyeshadow. Ooh, that one is really pretty. All of their eyeshadow comes up really high though. Honestly, we could use this base game one. I'm gonna give her a tiny little bit of blush, maybe also some liner. And again, this lip thing, I need to find something to go underneath. Ooh, what about that? Oh no, oh no, she has a tail. I don't think, I don't think Claudine has a tail. Oh no, Tumblr, what have you done? Okay, there's a no tail option. We're good, we're saved. Okay, I've given her this necklace here from the Moonlight Chic Kit. And now we need to get her an outfit. She wears a ton of purple, we're gonna see fur. I was immediately thinking of this shirt here for her. And I think I have like some purple. I also have some animal print. There's also this one in brown. I kind of like the purple one though. And then for her skirt, what do I have in purple? Let's see if I could find one with a belt. Ooh, I do have this one. Maybe I'll give her that with like the lighter purple. I feel like I need to bring in some pink here though. I'm not convinced on this top though, but it's really only the undershirt that she wears that's pink. I think I'm gonna keep it with the purple. And then for her shoes, I downloaded this pair of boots and I've been waiting to use them and I think I can do it for Claudine. These, these are like the perfect punk monster high kind of boot. I was so happy when I found these. So I think I wanna give her these in purple, but then underneath maybe I'll bring in some pink with some pink socks. Maybe if I can find some that reach. Oh, these work. I like how they're just kind of peeking over. We definitely need to give her the werewolf claws. I also want to give her some rings. Oh, actually, maybe she can have the moon ring. Nope, she can't. It's messing with the lashes. Never mind. The thought was there. You know what I will give her though is the heart purse. Every time I use this, I get so excited. And I think this is going to be our Claudine Sim. Her outfit has to be my favorite so far. Okay, and for her traits. I know she's very loyal and protective of her friends and family, so we're gonna give her loyal. And I think maybe, let's go self-assured. This Sim wants to be a trendsetter, popular and influential, a true icon. That is Claudine. Okay, we're gonna move on from Claudine and the next one we're going to do is Venus McFly Trap. So Venus is a plant monster and it would be really cool if I could make a plant Sim. Maybe I could cheat it? Like, okay, this is gonna be Venus for now. I'm gonna randomize all this for a sec and I'm gonna go into live mode. Oh, I knew this was an option. Okay, so I have turned on my cheats. I opened up my cheat bar and I typed in testing cheats true. And then you just shift click on your sim and you can make them into a plant sim. Let's see. Oh, this is cool. Yay. Okay, so now she's going to be an actual plant sim, <laughs> which honestly doesn't even change anything in create a sim. Okay, so in live mode, she'll be a plant sim. I guess in create a sim, she won't. I wish you could customize what they look like. Like, I don't even think you can change the hair that comes with them, which in my opinion makes the sims look like a spare guess, but whatever. Our Venus is going to have green skin, obviously. She has a very eco-punk style. She cares a lot about the environment. She loves the outdoors and nature. She plays the guitar and she sings. And there are two sides to her. She can be very energetic, kind of like a party animal, but she's also very humble and like I said, down to earth. She has blue eyes. I'm changing her lips here a little bit. And for her brows, I might actually use these ones here. I believe Venus uses she, they pro pronouns, although I'm finding conflicting answers on that. For our sake here, Venus is going to go by she, they, and I gave them some of these pointy ears here because I feel like they just look so cute. Okay, next for the hair. There's one that I have in mind, which is not going to be the exact hair, but I think we'll be able to get the colors. So I downloaded this one. Look at the fun colors. This is actually a retexture from another hair by S Club. And then Pinky Custom World uploaded a recolor and this is it. There are some other really funky ones I downloaded, like any of these crazy swatches that I have is by Pinky Custom World. But I saw this one and thought of Venus right away. So we're gonna use that. We're going to get them some lashes. And I think I'm gonna go heavier on the eyeliner here. Like I was thinking maybe a thicker one like this. And then for the eyeshadow, what if we did that one? I also have some of these ear piercings, which I think would look really good on them. But okay, I think this is gonna work. And then I'm also going to give them a choker necklace. Maybe like that. Okay, and now for the outfit. In the picture that I'm looking at, they're wearing like 
like a denim vest. I have a couple jackets here. I feel like this could be a fun look. And then I need to find a denim skirt, preferably in black. I do have this one. And then underneath they're wearing these very vibrant leggings. It's almost giving an 80s style. Like the picture that I'm looking at kind of looks like this. This is not something I would normally put on my Sims, but I'm gonna try and roll with it. And then for the shoes, oh my gosh, I'm obsessed with these boots. I think they wear pink boots though. And they're kind of shorter. They kind of look like this. Oh, this outfit. Wait, you know what I do have? And this is gonna have to change the whole outfit. I have these wristbands, which they actually do wear. I gotta find another shirt. We're gonna give them this in blue. And then there's a matching arm cuff that I could use. I don't have the leg versions, although that would be perfect. And I think we're just gonna have to sacrifice sacrifice the shoes here. They gotta go black. We're going black nails. And I think this is gonna be our Venus McFly trap. For their traits, this one's gonna be so easy. We're going green fiend, loves the outdoors. And for the aspiration, we can honestly probably do a few of these, but I think I'm going to go with eco innovator. So here's our Venus. Also, I don't know if you guys noticed, but the boots actually made this sim taller, which is kind of cool. Let's move on. And next we are going to make Abby abominable. So Abby is the daughter of a Yeti. So we don't actually have that occult in The Sims 4, but she is honest, very blunt, but she's also very confident and strong. I'm gonna bring her jaw out a little bit. We'll round the chin a little bit more than the other ones I've made. Oh my gosh, <laughs> I did not mean to do that. What happened? Undo, why is, her, <laughs> why is her head massive? Okay, there we go. Abby was another one that I saw you guys asking a lot about in the comments. She definitely seems to be a favorite amongst the community. I'm gonna bring her eyes further apart here. And she also has the little teeth detail. I think I might give her some twisted cat eyes. We're again gonna make these pupils massive. <laughs> going for very cartoony looks as per usual on this channel. I changed her brows to these ones from SM Sims and I'm gonna give her the dream girl lashes. Okay for her hair. So the hair that I'm looking at is mainly white with blue and pink streaks and the streaks is where I think we're gonna run into some problems again. I'm gonna try and find like a primarily white hair. I've been really wanting to use this one but I don't know if we're gonna be able to get the streaks. Like obviously these highlight details that I have are not meant for this hair, hence why they're not working. We might have to take the L on the streaks here, but I am gonna give her some purple shadow and I have this snowy one. I don't know why I have this or where I got it. I've had it for so long. Maybe, what does it look like with the whole look? Ooh, I don't know if I like it. Something about it looks like it's glitching even though it's not. You know what? We're gonna go with this and I actually do have some earmuffs. I feel like these look so cute on my Sims. So I'm gonna give her the white ones. And then for the outfit, she wears like a patterned dress, but it has the fluffy details on them. Like I don't have the fluffy neck piece really, but I do have this. Maybe the color scheme could be similar enough. And I definitely know I have leg warmers. And I think she wears some like glittery tights underneath. So I'm probably going to give her these, which almost matches her skin tone. So it just looks like her legs are like glittery. And then for her shoes, I'm trying to find something that doesn't mess with the leg warmers or actually hold on. I've got this shirt here, which has like the puffiness on the arms. And maybe I can pair that with a pattern skirt. This is the one that it comes with, although I feel like it might be a little too matchy. Okay, I'm liking this skirt with everything. I feel like it matches well. Oh wait, what about these? Okay, and she's gonna have these boots. They've got the leg warmers there. They're kind of chunky. This one is definitely not as exact as I would like it to be, but I do think she's cute. I like her outfit. We're gonna leave it. For her traits, so we're going to go with self-assured. And I think for her, I might go with active. We could also do adventurous, but for her aspiration, I'm gonna do the extreme sports enthusiast because it just makes sense here. <laughs> okay, we're going to do it two more and the next one is going to be Viperine Gorgon. Viperine is one that I didn't know too much about, but she stood out to me when I was doing research on this. I think she has a very unique look to her. She is a makeup artist. She's very passionate about makeup. She's very excitable. She's talkative and outgoing and she can be clumsy and disorganized and messy which is probably why I relate to her. <laughs> I noticed she has a very different nose than a lot of them. So I'm trying to make that. And she also has more defined cheekbones. For her eyes, I actually downloaded some very cool ones we can use. Look at these. I think I'm also gonna give her some pretty thin eyebrows. And I'm gonna try something a little different here. I'm gonna use the Twisted Cat Skin Detail and I'm gonna combine it with the Gaia one. We're going to give her some lashes. I'm gonna give her like a pinky purpley lip here. And I think I wanna go heavy on the eye makeup as well. Like I'm thinking about using something like this and then underneath maybe we could do a dark pink. So that's gonna be her makeup. She's also got something on her head which I was thinking about maybe adding some Realm of Magic
magic makeup or even something like this, but then we're gonna lose her cool eyes. Is there maybe something hiding in here that I could use? It's gonna be one or the other, and I think I gotta go with these. Next up for her hair, and obviously she's got the snake hair. I do have this one, but like the colors aren't quite there, although it is interesting. I don't think I'm gonna do it here. I want to give her the iconic pink hair that she has. What about one like this? And then instead of the snake hair, I think I have a snake headband. Oh, I do. Okay, that looks kind of cool. It looks like it's just going through the strands of her hair. I believe I also have a snake necklace. And then for her outfit, she has this patterned dress on. I have this one that I downloaded that I've been dying to use. It's this one here and something about it, I feel like I could pull this off. There are tons of swatches, so I'm trying to just find one that matches her pattern. We could maybe try this. I feel like I need to put something underneath though. I changed her hair to that one and I feel like it suits her a little bit better. She also has scales, which I feel like would be really cool. I don't have a skin detail like that though, but I could try and get away with these stockings. And then on top of that, I'm going back to the boots. I think I'm gonna give her these pink boots here. And I actually have a snake tattoo I'm gonna give her since we can't give her the hair. This is going to have to be Viperine. And for her traits, I think we could do cheerful. We could also do outgoing or I could give her clumsy. I think I'm gonna do that. When they turn into adults, obviously they can have like another trait. And for her aspiration, I wish we had a makeup one. That would be so fun with Get Famous to become like a makeup artist. We do have the painter extraordinaire one though. So I guess in a way that makes sense. Okay, this is Viperine and we have one more to make and that is going to be Frankie. So Frankie Stein uses they, them pronouns, which I did not know. In my last Monster High video, I used she, her pronouns for Frankie, which you guys let me know that changed around generation three, which I did not know. So I do apologize. I was not aware, but it is important to set the record straight here. They are the daughter of Frankenstein's monster and his bride, which apparently makes them only 15 days old. They are friendly and sweet. They make friends very easily, but since they're only 15 days old, they have a lot to learn and they can be a little naive because of that, understandably. They also have heterochromia, which I do have some custom eyes for that. We have one blue eye and one green eye. So these are the ones that I have to use. They're the cosmic eyes. And then I can go in and change the other eye like this. The thing about Frankie is they have the scars, like the stitching all over, especially one on their cheek. So I'm gonna try and find one like that. We have these big ones here. There's also a smaller one like that. I kind of like the bigger one though. And I'm not gonna be able to put them anywhere else. So I feel like I should take this opportunity here. They don't have the lip detail, but they are seen rocking a red lip. And I like the one that I used on Gulia. So I might use this one. Okay, and for their hair, Frankie has the white hair with the black stripes. It's sometimes pulled back in like a half up, half down look, which I do have this one, but can I get the white and black? Oh, we have this. That's gonna have to be close enough. In their OG look, they have blue earrings, which I think have skulls on them. Oh wait, these are gonna be perfect. Okay, and for their outfit, they're seen rocking this like blue plaid dress. I definitely think I'm gonna have a few options here. Like I have this and they have the fishnet detailing underneath, which I definitely have. There's also something more like this I could give them or we give them this and the pattern is pretty similar to the one that they wear. For the shoes, they wear these iconic stripey shoes, which I don't think I'm gonna have. I have this, these are from Alto or I've got these, which I quite like the look of them. They're very similar in shape. They don't have a pattern, unfortunately, but I do think they look very good. They also wear a tie accessory, which would be very cool if I had that. I might just add a necklace. I like that one. There's also a scarf, but it's clipping with the outfit that I have on. So I think I'm just gonna go with that necklace. I'll give them some nails. And this is going to be our Frankie. For their traits, we are going to give them, I think maybe outgoing and maybe also clumsy. And for their aspiration, I'm going to give them the academic aspiration. This one says this sim wants to attend university and get a job, but most importantly, learn. Frankie's only 15 days old. They got a lot, <laughs> they got a lot to learn. So this has been us creating Monster High dolls as Sims in The Sims 4. Let me know which one was your favorite in the comment section down below, or if you didn't see your favorite one, let me know who you would like to see in a Monster High video in the future. My favorite has to be Claudine today. I feel like we nailed her look. Her outfit is probably my favorite, but there's a few good ones in here today. So I hope you guys liked the video, and if you did, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.